Hi everyone, this is Tiffany with Raising House and Home. And today I'm going to take you shopping with me as I shop for the fall holidays and stock up my fall pantry. So here is everything from Sam's Club that um, we got last night. I have it on the table and I was going to do a video last night, but we had to do dinner and then we had um, some Halloween movies that we were going to watch, so I didn't have time. And now it's almost tonight, so things have been opened, people couldn't wait, we had school and, and work to go to, so we had to open up some of the packages, but I still want to show you what we got. So. I'm gonna start over here and you can see this is the three pack of this uh, seasoned classic stuffing now this is my husband's favorite if you guys watched my videos last year around Thanksgiving time um, we had we have like a stuffing war in our house because we have some that like the stovetop stuffing and some who like the pepperidge farm better so I always have to get two different kinds for Thanksgiving these were um, very difficult to find. Walmart did not have any in stock, and they said that they may not get them in stock. So when I saw these at Sam's Club, I grabbed it. I'm so glad that I found them, because if you guys have been watching the news, you'll know that they're ur urging you to go get your Thanksgiving and holiday foods because you may not have them uh, at holiday time. So. Then we got these honey bunches of oats with almonds. There's two two bags in there. And I got these M&Ms, which will last us about a month or two. Uh, we use them in yogurt, and I'm gonna probably use them for holiday cooking, just like I did last year. And then we have this, which you can see has already been opened. I made it the night that we got home because I wanted something really quick to feed everybody. So this is the Idahoan Buttery Homestyle Mashed Potatoes. There's eight pouches in there, and I think it was around $6. And they're over a dollar or about a dollar a piece uh, at Walmart, so it was a good deal to get the whole box. And then you can see these have been opened. <laughs> I got these Jack Link's Extra Tender Beef Jerky. We've been trying to have less like sugary snacks for the kids, um, you know, when they get home from school and stuff. So beef jerky has been really popular. And then of course these are for my husband. We got these um, 24 Tasty Cakes and he likes these honey buns with his coffee you can see there's one missing <laughs> um 
So he takes some of those to work with him. Then we got some Halloween candy. We got this big bag, which is already opened because we had some when we watched our movies. And then this bag too is heavy. Sorry guys, I'm right, really close up on you. We got this bag. So hopefully that will last us for trick or treating. I don't know if we'll get many people, but because we're kind of out in the country, but in case we do, we'll have some. And let's see, then I got these seasoned um, with Romano cheese, two pack of breadcrumbs. And they are huge. And we've been going through a lot of them lately. Um, my kids are kind of going on a kick where they don't like chicken that isn't breaded. <laughs> so, so we've been kind of using that up. And then I got another Coffee Mate creamer for my husband for his coffee. And then we got these Nature Valley protein bars, uh, peanut butter and dark chocolate. And those have been opened. <laughs> and these were uh, eaten in the car on the way home from Sam's Club. So these are the peanut butter filled pretzels. And then over here we have the 20 bars of Krispy Kreme wafer bars from Nature Valley. They're a little bit different. They're a little bit lighter. Um, my husband likes those a little bit better because they are more like a lighter texture. And then over here for the snack bins, we have the 30 pack of cookies. We have Chips Ahoy, Nutter Butters. Hold on, I'm gonna move this out of the way. <laughs> Nutter Butters and Oreos. And then I got these instant breakfast boxes. I got two of them because it is a huge savings buying them at Sam's Club versus Walmart. Um, and I am now the only one that, that drinks them. Um, my other kids don't like them anymore. So it's just me, so those last for a long time. And then we got these little bites and those go in the snack bin. And then we got these, oops, out of the way, these Pringles. Um, I like their portion sizes and they have little containers. So that's good for after school snacks or, or taking them to school and they have a good portion so then right here we've got some more beef uh, beef sticks and that's also going to go into the snack bins for the kiddos and then over here I've gotten two containers of the whole cashews with sea salt and these were on instant savings so I think it was $11 a container which is a really good deal and they're good until like 2023 and then we got some Nutella, we got two pack, and that sometimes they put it on their toast or on a spoon, let's be honest, sometimes we eat it on a spoon. Um, and then got my husband some deodorant and all of these plastic cups. It makes my life easier and in this season of my life right now, we are doing a lot of like purging of our house and cleaning and really busy now that school has started back up we are about a month in we got these energizer uh, lithium batteries um, which we use for our electronics and like our doorbell camera but that's a good deal we couldn't find those at walmart they were completely sold out they had triple a a whole bunch of triple a but none of the double a so we grabbed them and then we got these face masks um my one of my children is actually in public school right now and they have gone to face masks all day long so he goes through about two a day because he will either lose one take it off for lunch and maybe the string will break so these are only six dollars a box and so i got five boxes of those because we were searching everywhere in our town and the next town over and while I was looking for masks, so was another mom, and they were completely sold out. And um, there was one box that was like for smaller kids, and it was $20, I think, for 10. So when I saw these, I just grabbed them because that is a really good deal. And now I don't have to worry about that. Um, and then we got these, which is empty because that is what I made for dinner uh, last night. So, this is the chicken cordon bleu and there were six in here because um, some of the kids had the sushi. They really like um, the big sushi platters at um, Sam's Club. So we'll get those as a treat and they pretty much ate their dinner in the car. 
and then everyone else had these. And then as you can see, this has been open for today's lunch, but these are the SpaghettiOs with meatballs and there's 12 in there. And these were on uh, instant savings as well. I think I saved $2. I'm not 100% sure. And I also got my husband, um, which you can't see on the table because I didn't have any room, uh, some of those monster coffee monsters. Whole order, plus we filled up our, our van with gas. We spent just a little under $500. Now, this order from Sam's Club, all of this just last year was like maybe 300 and it's interesting because you don't see the prices go up right away. You don't recognize it. But when you go to check out, wow, that was a sticker shock. Um, we shopped last, no, two months ago before we went to the lake house for a little mini vacation. And we spent $600. It's, it's really crazy to me how much the prices have gone up. So I would recommend if you can go to Sam's Club and if you have a little bit of extra money on you, maybe go do some stocking up because I don't think the prices are going to go down anytime soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your comments as always and your emails. And please subscribe below if you haven't already. And click the like button if you like what you see. I hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy and happy and busy because this is a busy season of canning and stocking up for the winter. So thanks again and until next time guys, bye.